Oh, what is good, everybody? So, we are going to have a look at the Mythic Legions uh, Deluxe Builder uh, Barbarian. Uh, this is a figure I've been eyeing for quite some time. Finally pulled the trigger on Big Bad Toy Store. Just because the eBay market for this guy is just too much right now. I mean, he's over 100 bucks, um, But, on Big Bad Toy Store, it was only $69. So, uh, I could justify that price, definitely, for what you get. Uh, plus, the Knights. The Knight Builder set is really good. So, this is a guy I definitely wanted to cop. See the, the packaging. There's the emblem for these guys. I don't know the name of their faction, but you can see the Barbarian Builder. It's got two different head sculpts you can do, or mask, I would say. Uh, this one has the bearded look, and then, of course, the one without. So, now you got to pick and choose which one you want. Let me see the back of the, the packaging. Artwork is so clean. If you want to pause and look at that, it's a brief little story on them. All the other characters they came out with. There's still a whole lot more. But yeah, so I think I'm, I might try to get one more just so I can have the different look all the time. But I, I just don't know right now. I'll just probably wait to see if I can if I can find one cheap enough. I'll get one. Um, maybe order another one on Big Red Toaster. I don't know yet. But for right now, we'll just uh, check this guy out. All right, so first up, we have all the weapons it comes with. Uh, it's just an astounding amount of uh, weapons you get for each one of these deluxe builders. You get a spear, a long sword, a medium sword, a little dagger. You get, of course, the axe, which you can change it up into a double-sided axe, uh, a shield. You get, of course, the clip for uh, the shield. You get these nice winged look effect for the the helmet if you'd like so that's pretty nice for what you get for your money uh, i think that's a pretty cool idea i do wish that the axe would break apart so you can have two kind of shorter axes i thought that'd be kind of neat for the barbarian then of course the barbarian figure itself it's got uh antlers you can have on for a different look you've got the black horns not sure where that comes from. And then, of course, the shorter horns. And then you get another loincloth. This one's more of a textured kind of look to it. More uh, wool. And, of course, you got the armor pants, which... Um, it looks like all these, like the knights and orcs, they all share the same kind of style when it comes to uh, these armor. So, I mean, it's, it's a cool connected universe. They all have the same kind of legs, except for the knights. The knights are... A bit different in the the feet and the legs then you got of course the shoulder guards and there's the other helmet so and the figure itself he it looks cool looks really, really cool the one thing I forgot to mention before with the myth mythic legions line is you can uh, remove the back card and then you can keep it uh, for later on if you want to put things back in the, the packaging so that that's a really cool unique idea on their behalf so uh, that's kind of cool just to keep everything intact if you need to all right we got barbarian opened up and uh, this is a pretty nice figure uh, the sculpt work on this is amazing paint apps are really good uh, all around nice build on this figure so we'll take that piece off real quick you just look at the detail on him, man. He is nice. I mean, that is a cool look. Um, doesn't have a regular face, but, you know, this design they chose for. And, of course, with this line, you can mix and match. So if you find uh, a regular human face, it'll work on here just fine. You'll see the beard itself has a really nice look to it. Uh, looks just like a real, real beard. You can see the braid work in there. Um be kind of cool if they added like some paint in there because you know how they do like some ribbon wrapping and stuff like that just to break it up a little bit but when you lift the head up yeah it looks kind of goofy that way so it'd be it would have been cool if this was on um a hinge so the hair can actually move down but eh, it is what it is but just uh look at that sculpt work i mean the veins on this dude he is shredded I mean, this is nice. Uh, the detail around the belt here, uh, the loin cloth looks really good. It's all a soft uh, material, so you can move it around. 
Again, nice sculpt work on the, the feet here. I mean, they all share the same kind of uh, legs, except for the knights. All the rest have different kind of garments going on. But just a really cool looking figure. You see the back of the figure. Again, you know, with the issue with these is you do have the gaping holes in there. But, you know, that's for a reason. So you can add on uh, these pieces for the shoulder. This one is a bit tough. But there it goes. So you can see, whichever way you want to add it on. I mean, you can add both on, one on. Doesn't matter. It's your figure. You can mix and match all you want to. Now, I've seen... I still don't know the issue with the square. Um, I had a person on my YouTube uh, comment and say, you know, it's for the wings and that they want to do some adapting onto that, which I can see that because the wings themselves, they fit in those other figures. But, you know, if you want to use wings on this guy, eh, I mean, it's your figure, but still, that look kind of weird. But other than that, um, yeah, I'm just really digging this figure. Let's pop it off here. And of course, you know, with the articulation, uh, really good range on everything. You know, his head can move up really far because he's on a huge ball joint. But you can see right underneath there. I'll just pop that off. So, it's a really big ball joint, so it gives all the movement. Uh, the pain, of course, wears off on these. But that's fine. And then the shoulder articulation goes all the way out. This one's a bit stiff, so you can rotate does not have a bicep swivel that's because they don't want to lose the sculpt but you do get a bend at the elbow not a lot of range on there so that is disappointing so it only goes about that far I wish it can go a little further but I mean look at his arms you won't find that anywhere I like how the elbow was hidden uh, underneath this joint right here got a rotation right there and then of course the wrist can move got some waist movement not a lot but just enough of course you can go back pretty far and again this is all removable so you can get all that stuff off we'll pop this one off real quick you see that ball joint in there it's a huge ball joint ah, this one is stiff though there we go and of course legs can go all the way out I mean that's full-on splits Legs can go up. Got a bend at the knee. It's got also got a rotation at the knee. And you got feet movement up and down. And pivot. Beautiful pivot. I mean, that is clean right there. So, all in all, this is a nice, nice figure. I really like it. So, I definitely got to get one more. Um, but let's put on some different looks for him. You can see here how he looks with his other head sculpt. Uh, put one shoulder guard on, removed this loincloth, and put the other one on. So you can see this piece is a little bit longer. It's got a little more detail on it. And of course, he's got the dual axe or double sided axe. Absolutely love it. Um, this head sculpt is really nice. Focus. Yeah, that is clean very very clean and again you know the antlers you can take them off mix and match put them on each different side you want it does not matter however you want to do it you can have one on one off yeah, but I like to be symmetrical so yeah I kind of like it the other way but yeah he looks really really good with this this look I think I like better than the beard uh, I might leave him like this but well the I definitely have to get another one I want two of these guys. So, uh, yeah, um, definitely if you can get this figure, definitely pick it up. I mean, it is worth it in my opinion.